Welcome back. Uh, here we are again, uh, Alessandro and Abe. <laughs> <laughs> we are playing with OpenR and DR, mm -hmm. with Kotlin, mm -hmm. lists, mutable lists. Mm -hmm. So last time we uh, saw how we can add things and uh, remove things. And I'm using things as a, a placeholder for geometries, for whatever, uh, yeah, whatever thing you want to. And here use. we can see what's the issue. Because mm -hmm. we are removing circles when they become too small. But mm -hmm. you can see the, there's some dangling rectangles there. Mm -hmm. And yeah. these do not get eliminated. It's just that we don't see them anymore because they are pink. Right. How about we change first the color, <laughs> the color and show that True. that's the case. Cyan. <laughs> so now... Yeah, we, we should see some... Now we will see that the circles disappear, but not those mm -hmm. squares. Mm -hmm. And yeah, the thing maybe we want to solve next is because we have two lists and they get out of sync. We mm -hmm. are deleting things from one, but not from the other. Mm -hmm. And the second list is, uh, I mean, originally in our uh, story, depends, and even now, it depends on the first list in the sense it's linked yeah. to it. So we have to to think of a way in which we can uh, um, uh, remove the circle, but somehow communicating mm -hmm. with the other list and do the same. How can we do it? Yeah, I was thinking there's many ways. Mm -hmm. I guess um, it would be good to create some kind of pairs. Mm -hmm. or so we don't have a separate list, but we just have maybe one list that contains mm -hmm. circles and squares yes. and rectangles. Which, if you think about, it's also deeper than what it sounds, because we are asking ourselves if we have two separate entities, circles and rectangles, or a, or do we need a new entity that has in itself both a circle and a rectangle? So this would be, in principle, my favorite approach, but there are other approaches that we can use, right? Yeah. I had in mind using SIP, mm -hmm. but I'm not sure if it's going to work. Mm -hmm. Because there's a method called zip, which is very convenient. It looks like a zipper for your clothes. Mm -hmm. Basically, you take two lists and you alternate taking first element from one list, first element from the other, then second, second, third, third, fourth, mm -hmm. fourth. Mm -hmm. um, but in this case, I think maybe we should make a mutable list of pairs. We could make a mutable list of pairs, yes. I mean, if we end up using zips, that's probably what we would have to do, because yeah. we would zip the two lists, filter according to one of the component of the pair, and then split, uh, produce two lists. Mm -hmm. Again, it's two goes to two <laughs> via the zip that is in the middle, but that's, that's an approach, but let's introduce pairs. Yeah. Like, that's just to see also another feature of the language itself. Right. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to rename circles as pairs. And then this is going to be a mutable list of pairs mm -hmm. of a circle rectangle. Mm -hmm. uh, I think me... you need the... Ah, oh, right. It's pair uh, in brackets. Uh, yeah. Correct. Mm -hmm. So now we don't need the other, rec uh, the other list anymore. Mm -hmm. Now we have to fix a few things in the code. Mm -hmm. Um, first, I, I'll jump here, for example, my mouse is there. Right. When now we can see that the it in the remove if condition is actually a pair. A pair, because that's a mutable list of pairs. So how can we access now mm. the first? Yeah, we can see that pair. if I type here it, uh, just to let it autocomplete, there is first mm -hmm. and second. Mm -hmm. And you can see that the first is a circle. You can mm -hmm. see it here. Mm -hmm. And second is rectangle. Mm -hmm. So the only thing we need to do here is to say first the first item on this pair mm -hmm. and get the radius mm -hmm. of that one. Mm -hmm. So now how do we draw? How do we get now from a list of pairs a list of the circles contains in the pair so that we can pass it to the overloaded function circles and rectangles. So yeah, as usual, there's several ways. Yes. We could create this list. Or? Or we just iterate through all the elements mm -hmm. and we draw the elements one by one. Ah, and uh, what about if we use map on so, the pairs and uh, select? Right. Right. So that's to create here, for example, from the pairs, mm -hmm. we could say map. Yes. And we take the first element. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if this is most efficient, but at least 
it's it's a way yes. of demonstrating map mm -hmm. that we this this block here it creates a new list with all the first elements mm -hmm. and here we would need first that map and all the second elements mm -hmm. and so the drawing is solved mm -hmm. uh, we have some other issues up here okay um, mm -hmm. this was what this line we, maybe we can add a comment we yeah. are shrinking shrinking yes. our circle now pairs of i will return a pair and not uh, something that has the property radius that's why right IntelliJ is complaining. Maybe you one can do pairs dot first. Um, or can 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 one uh, is pair immutable now? Good question. Good question. <laughs> uh, I would store the item mm -hmm. just to. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, sorry, if, um, I would say item pairs i. Mm -hmm. the, so the this hint here tells me what is this item? Mm -hmm. It's a pair with a circle mm -hmm. and a rectangle. Mm -hmm. Maybe here, I will put this down as a comment. Mm -hmm. We want to create a new pair, maybe mm -hmm. pair. Mm -hmm. And, it has and now we have to copy. Yeah, the, right. Yeah. You can see it's expecting here a circle and a rectangle. Mm -hmm. So if we do for, I know it's not eight. Is sorry, item mm -hmm. first, mm -hmm. item second. So this would mm, item. Where am I? <laughs> second. Mm -hmm. So this wouldn't do anything. Mm -hmm. But just to show that the syntax is correct, mm -hmm. we create a pair with the first eight item and the second mm -hmm. item. Now we only need to modify a bit this mm -hmm. first item. And what can we do? Like um, we can use the same basically technique yeah. that we did before. I'm going to give it a name. Yeah, so it's a yeah bit just for clarity. Better to understand. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be item first. Copy as we did before. And we'll just add this code. Mm -hmm. uh, move the window up a bit. But now we don't have, uh, yeah, pairs. This is but again item first. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And here we use the smaller circle. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so we can read the code again. Mm -hmm. So we iterate through all the pairs. Mm -hmm. uh, we access one, the current element, mm -hmm. called item, mm -hmm. which has a first and a second right. component. Right. And we have to do this because a pair is immutable. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. And so we create a new pair and with the smaller circle, but the same rectangle, mm -hmm. unmodified. Right. So now there is another place where we have to create a new pair. Um, new pair, where? When, uh, how do we create pairs in our right. approach? Right, right, right. So when we click the mouse, mm -hmm. we, we are not adding pairs to one or the other. So we just, yeah, we add... Here, mm -hmm. a pair. Mm -hmm. uh, we can just delete mm -hmm. all this stuff. And uh, what's our pair look? How is it we look like? We need a circle that a has circle. to be centered at uh, the mouse position. Uh, I will call them sir. And, and we need right. a rectangle that is also at as its center yeah. at the mouse. Uh, yeah. So this pair is going to have those two elements. Mm -hmm. Circle uh, at position. Mm -hmm. And let's make it a bit big, 120. Mm -hmm. And the second part, while rect is rectangle from center, mm -hmm. and at position, mm -hmm. and I don't know, 20, for example. Yes. <clears throat> and let's see if it works. So now, what, what, what do we expect now? We expect the the, the squares disappear. Yeah, what should disappear is the pair, not only mm -hmm. one or the other. Exactly. We need some mu music Success. tension. Success, <laughs> I would say. Yes. Okay, so this has allowed us to uh, introduce the concept of a pair. Mm -hmm. And uh, another way in which this concept is uh, used, uh, but, but, but now I'm curious to use Zip. Yeah. Again, I think we can find uh, a, a nice uh, way to use it. Mm -hmm. And it's about when you want to shuffle objects, right. but that are synced with each other. Mm -hmm. So I think one thing that we could, uh, how we could demonstrate this, we could have, uh, we could have uh, a collection of circles, 
right? Say that whose radius from left to right decreases. Yeah. A collection of rectangles just after, uh, under whose width decreases. Mm -hmm. And then at the click of the mouse, we swap. Mm -hmm. We reshuffle them. Okay. Okay. And they should stay in sync. And they should stay in sync. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So the small rectangle should be near the small exactly. circle. Exactly. So we need basically two collections. At this moment, we don't need uh, mutable lists. We can go back to the old, uh, our old friend, <laughs> just immutable lists. Yeah. And we only want to concentrate on uh, syncing by using zip. Yeah. Should we make a new video about that? Let's make a new video about that. <laughs> we'll be back soon. See you in the next one. Yeah.